workers are increasingly returning to in-office work. That's according to a new report released exclusively to Yahoo Finance First. The sector's share of U.S. office leasing activity grew in 2023, hitting 16.5% in the third quarter. And it's all thanks to a surge in funding for artificial intelligence companies. That's according to CBRE's annual Tech 30 report. With more on the office landscape for tech is Colin Yazoo. Kochi. He's the executive director of CBRE's Tech Insights Center. Colin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Let's get right into kind of the headline for this report. Talk us through what was your number one takeaway? Yeah, so we saw the tech industry continue to add jobs in 2023, although that growth slowed down pretty significantly. But what's amazing is that with all the layoff announcements that we've been hearing that there's still companies who are hiring tech workers. And one of the areas, as you had mentioned, is the artificial intelligence sector, where we are seeing a significant growth in both job additions as well as uh, commercial real estate acquisition. Now, AI seems like kind of strange bedfellows when you think about commercial real estate. I mean, it's artificial intelligence, Colin. So how does that play out in terms of the relationship between AI and office space now? Why is there even a need? Now, that is that is an interesting point because it sounds counterintuitive, but you really need human intelligence to create artificial intelligence. And this is such an emerging area that people need to be more together to collaborate and innovate. And that's ever more important. And so that's why we're seeing, especially in the San Francisco Bay area, that artificial intelligence companies that are high growth are taking more office space so they can accommodate that um, interactions in person and to, you know, to continue to grow and innovate. Well, commercial real estate, we know, has had a lot of challenges this year, and there's concerns about where it stands now uh, in the industry. Can AI be a savior of commercial real estate? It can certainly be a start in terms of a catalyst for you know what the large next tech growth cycle might be. At this point, you know, artificial intelligence is probably too small of a sector within tech to really turn the real estate market around quickly. But we feel that they can create a platform that's going to lead to a lot of new business creation and create a wave of growth similar to what we saw after the great financial crisis and the mobile internet created opportunities for businesses that just couldn't exist before. And we know there are like boom and bust cycles when it comes to tech. You and I have talked about that offline. So what do the what does the data show you in terms of the patterns that we're seeing, especially in terms of any surprising findings in your research this year? Yeah, so, you know, over the last, I would say, five years and even in this year's report, we've still seen a lot of growth in the tech industry in Canada. So Vancouver was actually our top market in terms of creating tech jobs in uh, 2021 and 2022. And so there's been a lot of growth in Canada. We've also seen a lot of smaller markets see significant amount of growth. Um, interestingly, Waterloo uh, in Canada, which is just outside of Toronto, was one of those markets. Also Colorado Springs in Kansas City. Uh, in addition to some of our larger markets that we still feel very confident about, those being New York City, which created the most jobs in, in terms of pure numbers, and the San Francisco Bay Area because of AI and what that represents in terms of growth. And what did you see in terms of the footprint shrinking? Uh, were there any large markets where you saw the footprint shrink uh, in terms of uh, office leasing activity? Um, yeah, so there's definitely been a overall trend of, of tech companies taking less space, and that's why we've seen office vacancies rise. But now we're starting to see companies require their employees to come back at least two to three days per week. And that seems to have stabilized the market, at least for now. And once um, you know the economic situation solidifies, we think there's going to be a very strong growth in the tech industry that's going to lead to much higher demand for office space. 
And then in terms of the outlook for 2024, what does the data show you in terms of patterns, especially when we think about, say, startups in the AI space or these mm -hmm. uh, established heavyweight tech companies? Yeah, so interestingly, you know, what we do look at as being the um, leading indicators of where the tech industry is headed is the performance of the stock market, particularly the NASDAQ and the level of venture capital funding. You know, both of those are doing pretty well, especially the stock market. Venture capital funding has probably come down a bit in the last couple of years, but it still remains at historically high levels. And that's especially true for AI companies where we're seeing not only big venture capital investments, but big investments from big tech companies that are you know, wanting to be on the cutting edge. And so we're very optimistic about the tech industry long term, although you know, things could be a little bit up and down over the next uh, six to 12 months. But uh, we look forward to very strong growth by the second half of 24 or into 2025. All right, Colin, thank you so much for giving us the exclusive on this. Our thanks to Colin Yazukochi, the executive director of CBRE Tech Insights Center. We'll have to put a pin in our conversation. Thanks, Colin.